Hey guys, your boy Rick here back with another unbiased review. This time we're going to do Lime Rick's Tavern in Chino Hills. Lime Rick's is a sports bar restaurant turned into a full-on club at night, like a lounge. And it's in the suburb of LA in Chino Hills, about 35-40 miles outside the city. Don't ask me how I ended up out there, but uh, let's get started with the review. Here we go. For Club Fairness, they got a full point. They don't hold a line. It's uh, free admission all night. Every time I've been there, I've been there twice. And um, yeah, no line holding, none of that. I've seen a switch from restaurant to club around 10 or something like that. Some people inside just kind of stay over. Full point for Club Fairness. So like I said, it's a restaurant in the beginning. People are there chilling, eating, and you know, people still use the tables after the fact. They still have pool tables there, as you can see. It's like a bar tavern, like I said in the beginning, or even at night, they still use them. So for club security, we get a full point as well. Uh, you know, friendly guys, they pat you down. You know, they do the job, keep us safe. Full point for security. The club bar also gets a full point. Uh, speedy service, they do their job pretty fast. They drinks are fairly priced, suburb prices, can't complain too much. They have friendly bartenders, decent mixed drinks. Full point for club bar. For the club vibe, I'm gonna give it a full point. People are, you know, chilling, having a good time. People are dancing. People are friendly to each other from what I've seen. Definitely a cool little suburb, you know, spot out there. You, you got your pool, you got your music, you got your dance floor, you got your restaurant. Definitely a cool vibe out there. Full point for club vibe. For the club safety, I'm gonna give it a full point. The few times I've been there, everything's been chill. People have been friendly, like I said. Security does their job, they pat you down, keep us safe. I will add as a disclaimer though, that my date there said that she's been there a couple times and you do see sketchier people there, in my opinion, sometimes. But and she's mentioned how she's seen drama there a couple times with these uh, sketchier looking people, in our opinions, of course, but, but I've never seen it myself. So full point for safety. If you disagree, comment below, no problem. Full point for safety. The club music gets a full point as well. It's a top 40 type vibe, uh, reggaeton, some other Latin hits like that as well. Maybe some older classic hits. But they definitely play some bangers, good hits from those genres. Full point for music. For the crowd attractiveness, I got to give it a half a point. You know, there's a couple of good looking ladies in there, a couple of good looking fellas, in my opinion, of course. But there's also, you know, average looking people like myself, more average looking ladies and fellas or, you know, worse, in my opinion, of course. It's the suburbs, you know, what can you expect? Half a point for crowd attractiveness. For the ratio, I also have to give it a half a point in my opinion. I have noticed a disproportion of guys to ladies in my opinion. Definitely does feel like there's usually more guys than ladies here. Maybe because of the pool, maybe because of the, you know, sports bar aspect of it. And the crowd that holds over. Also, I do feel that there's a lot of couples sometimes. So, you know, the number of single ladies here is scarce in my opinion. I will say that it's probably about 80% Latino people in there, you know, some African American, probably 20% or 10% of the other number. I've seen some Asian people here, I've seen some Caucasian people in here, but for the most part, it's those two ethnicities. I've seen uh, age groups of all kinds here, probably early 20s to even early 40s. Like I said, it's the suburbs, everybody's here, and you know, with the lack of other bars in the area. So a half a point for the ratio, in my opinion. For the networking, I have to give it a zero, in my opinion. I saw a lot of guys striking out. I mean, you know, they were approaching ladies and, you know, getting rejected left and right from what I could see. It's my opinion, the ladies are there to dance with their homegirls. You know, they're having a good time with their ladies. They're not necessarily looking to be bothered by fellas. So yeah, there you go. Also, it is because I believe that in my opinion, there's a lot of couples. I've seen, you know, a lot of ladies already boot up. So well, there goes your chances, guys. Also, in my opinion, ladies, you probably will be over approached here. There's a lot of guys, like I said, in my opinion, there's more you know, single guys out there looking for ladies. So yeah, zero for networking, AKA hookup chances in my opinion. Now for the location, I do have to give it a zero, unfortunately. It's in the shopping center there in the suburbs. And like I said, there's really no other clubs in the area. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. I believe it's right off the freeway, like the exit uh, leads into the shopping center. Definitely didn't see a lot of cops in the area, but I still wouldn't recommend driving, of course. Drinking and driving, I mean. Now the club itself, the bar, the restaurant, it's nice. It's, you know, it's roomy, it's spacious. It's got nice amenities. Like I said, that pool table, the bar, everything's pretty cool in that regard. But unfortunately, overall, I have to give it a zero in my opinion, just because the location does kind of suck. It is kind of far. I'm, and not just because it's in the suburbs. I mean, far from a lot of other bars or clubs that you could hit up. Well, guys, there you have it. Lime Rick scored a seven out of 10, in my opinion, of course. It's definitely a great score, in my opinion, for a suburb club, you know, out there. But the people were there having a good time. You know, it's a good vibe. It's good people out there. It's definitely somewhere to be if you're out in the suburb. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't recommend, you know, making the drive all the way out there to check it out. Or, you know, unless you're in the area and not willing to drive around, I definitely recommend it. Well, guys, thank you so much for checking out this review and all my other ones thus far. Don't forget to follow and more of Los Angeles Best Night Life coming soon. Thank you, guys.